Welcome to my review of the Turtle Beach P21s. Um, okay, there's a lot of things. I've seen a lot of comments. I've gotten some messages. First things first, oh, it looks cheap, it looks durable. It's not that easy to break. Alright, um, seems like a, it, it does seem pretty light, but honestly, do you want to have something on your head that you can feel the whole time? Can you imagine something big, bulky, heavy, you know, so you feel it like it's solid? Um, these, actually warm last night for about five hours, um, five to six hours non-stop, um, no problems, no sweat. The mesh, I'll get a close up for everything, but the mesh did wonders. Um, you couldn't hear anything. Um, I'll get calls on my cell phone. That does suck, don't forget to put your cell phone on vibrate. Um, but uh, you get calls on your cell phone, um, outside noise, you don't hear anything at all. Um, what you do hear though is footsteps. Um, let me go through some of the facts and then I'll go through what I saw also through a setup what I saw um, what I heard also when I was using these um, mesh like I said band pretty pretty good put them on bam the only thing is though right here is when you want to put them like that make sure the headset is moved up fist to the side the left the cup won't rotate um, they are pretty comfortable. Um, you put them like this. Now, can you imagine like this? It's all up in your neck and everything. All right. Um, the mic thing, bendable, actually rotates. I don't know why you would need that. I got a close up on it. Rotates. I don't know why you would need that, but it's pretty cool. I mean, it's fully flexible and everything. Um, let's see. All right, cord, about 16 feet long. Um, actually, don't forget, it comes with these Velcro things that uh, actually, you know, you can wrap up the cords in. Um, what I do want to go through real quick, though, is you need these headsets, and, and you're going to be like, man, I, I can't hear anything, or, or I can't talk to my buddies. First thing I did wrong, well, let me go ahead and switch it to the, this, it's PS3. So... First thing I did wrong was I connected it. You know, setup's pretty easy. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, setup. You know, I've I've HDMI, but I switched over to my component just so uh, I don't have as many wires. It just sets up right there, easy. Then you do USB cord. This goes goes in no problem. All right. Okay. Now here's here's the part where. You, where you have to uh, make sure you do. After you put them in, um, of course, this first experience of headsets on PS3. Um, go to accessories, settings, and you go audio device. Right here, it was on wireless headset. See? And uh, that's no good because they're on right now. As you can see, hello. See, I'm talking, you can't hear me barely. It doesn't pick out that much outside noise. Um, the only reason why it's very picking me up is because it's facing me, but as you can see, I'm talking and nothing, nothing at all. But if I put them up, hello, hello, see, it, it, it's, it's pretty good at keeping outside noise out. Um, make sure that you change these to Total Beach USB headset. Here's the thing, um, mine was set at 3, go ahead and put it all the way up to 5, um, best way for you to avoid, you know, some people like having their mics low, you know, they have the regular PlayStation one, um, it would be pretty low. Uh, besides that though, make sure you hit OK, everything be saved, and bam, uh, pretty easy. Um, now, let's go back to the review. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and answer the biggest question I'm pretty sure everybody wants to know. I'll fix this. Alright. Call of Duty. Dead silence. Can you hear it? Yeah. My friend and I just, uh, we're messing around. Just me and him. And, uh, other people started joining, but, uh, you know, he was on opposite team, and I would tell him, hey, um, Go ahead and, you know, try to sneak up on me. I'll tell him what, I told him what building I was at, any map, wherever I was at. Uh, sh you know, shipment, I was in the the container in the center. And uh, you could hear him. If it was coming from left or to right, if it was coming from, you know, it, it, it was pretty, you could still hear me with dead silence. He took it off, I heard him perfectly. Sometimes, sometimes he would barely, like, he would get really close and then I'd hear him. Crystal clear sound. Um, you can turn these up as loud as you want. I advise, though, right off the bat, that uh, you don't turn them up all the way. Um, it's pretty loud. It, it's it. it um, I've heard people have headaches from turtle beaches, and I'm I'm pretty sure it's because the sound is up too loud when they're playing for two or three hours. Um, again, pretty great. Um, other games. You guys are probably wondering about. Um, War at War, some of the maps, I forgot what map it was, um, I should have noted this, but you could hear Ghost, I forgot, uh, the name of the map, you could hear Ghost, kinda, that's pretty crazy, um, Killzone 2, great, everybody loves running on Killzone 2, run, 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 loud as heck, you just, at first I, I went in and I was playing, you know, a big war room, 32 players, 16 on 16, so you hear everything, you hear bots, you hear bots just when they're turning, or the little beeping noise, deep, deep. Also, grenades being thrown at you, you know, let's say it hits the wall, blah, blah. You think it's to your right, but it actually bounced to your left. You can hear it on your left side. So you see, so you're not gonna run towards the grenade on Kill Zone 2. The other big thing I noticed was um, footsteps. In little matches, four versus four. I did some plant matches with these. Great. You know, bam, oh man, all three of my members are dead. You know, the other guys had all four there, so they're about to plant. So, you know, what do you do? You you sit back, you, you sit in the corner just until everybody revives. I could hear people coming up, and I knew which side, left or right. You know, I know which side of the room, which entrance they're going to come through. Easy. The, the best thing for this is going to be Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Hardcore mode, this helps you out a lot. Search and destroy, this helps you out a lot. Um, 70 bucks um, on sub websites. Um, it varies. I've seen it from 65 to 80 bucks. Very worth your money. Um, I will be trying other headsets out. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head any more questions I had. I just wanted to give you guys a really, really good review on this. Um, ears don't sweat. Comfort, you forget they're on. Actually, got up. And uh, I remember doorbell ring. I got up and I was starting to walk, and it kind of jerked a little bit. And I realized I had the headset on. Um, they're just that comfortable, um, lightweight. Yeah, when you first see them, when you first get them, there's been some reviews. I repeat, those reviews are true. They are lightweight. They do seem cheap. I rather have cheap. It's not cheap. I rather have a cheap feel and that feel them on my head than an expensive feel and have a neck cramp from you know, a pound and a half on my head. Um, these don't weigh like nothing. I, I really don't know how much they weigh, but I mean, they don't weigh nothing at all. Um, let's see, let's go through this little thing right here. All right, has a little clip. You know, you can clip it on whatever. Um, I actually just set it on my lap. And then um, I usually don't change it. Um, I, the expander on off, I have it on most of the time. Um, chat boost, great thing. Um, you know, at first, have you ever been playing? Oh, well, all right, I got surround sound. So I'll be playing really loud. And of course my right ear hears all this noise in the game and my left ear can barely hear my teammates because they're talking and when they talk, you hear everything they hear. 